Good evening guys. I was asked by somebody very amazingly to make a video about my thoughts on the British monarchy, which I appreciate very much and I will do right now. You've got to bear in mind that these are just my personal opinions and they're not like fact or this isn't a PDS where I'm going to talk about what is actually the thing. This is just literally my opinion on what the monarchy is where it's going and what it should be. First off, I couldn't give a shit about the Queen or whoever the fuck else, the princes, all of them. I just don't care because to me, I come from a working class background and to me, they're just people who have just been given it and it's secluded from everybody else. It just runs in the family and they've, ne they've never been appointed or at least not for a few hundred years. They've just been given this amazing gift of, well, power and money and everything else. So I personally, I can't relate to them. I can't think of any way of how I can like them. Because, yeah, they might be nice people, but to me, they're just extremely rich, extremely posh people who live in huge houses and their head is on coins. That's pretty much it to me. Secondly, I think we just don't need the monarchy although it won't die for a long time yet. I personally just, like I said, I couldn't care less about it. I would be happy if they just let it go, if that's fine by me. But it's seen as a very perennially British thing to have a monarchy. The Shut up, children. <sighs> it's seen as a very perennially British thing to have a monarchy. But that's mainly just because nobody else does anything. And I think that's part of the appeal for people is because we're the only one who has them anymore. I mean, there might be some like King Solomon fellow blah, 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 but other than that, we are the only big country to still have a monarchy. And that's what appeals to a lot of people. They see this and they don't have it, like in America. You don't have this, so I don't know. It's just, it seems as a very British thing now. For me, it's really not necessary. Like even the royal wedding, people across the world were getting behind it. And I didn't watch any of it. I mean, bear in mind, yeah, a lot of people here did. A lot of people. And a lot of people went to London. I think if I was in London, I probably would have gone and, like, stood outside for it and whatever. But it doesn't make a difference to my life. An interesting thing about the monarchy, though, is they still have a lot of power. You wouldn't think it, but they do. Yeah, the Queen is the most powerful person in this country. You think she could just sit there in her office or whatever, just doing nothing all day. But she could literally just do whatever she wanted. She is the most powerful person. She could overturn any laws without anybody to ask to. She can decline anything. She can sack the prime minister. She can appoint a new prime minister, which she often does. But the truth is she would never do any of that. <laughs> like literally every law that is passed through government and then m made into law, before it can be made into law, the queen has to accept it. But the thing is, it's just like, it's just like a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just, I can't think of the word, but it's just something that happens. She would never say no to anything, even if she personally doesn't believe in it. It's just, um, I can't think of the word. I can't, I feel really annoy me. But yeah, she is still the most powerful person in the country, but she would never use any of that power because it's mainly just there for show. I, I can't quite understand, I can't really explain what I'm trying to say, but the queen is most powerful, but she can never act on it. She could if she wanted to, but she just wouldn't because... <laughs> she just wouldn't because mainly the monarchy is there just for show. Now, I don't think we could get rid of the monarchy because it is probably one of the main things that attracts anyone to Britain. There's a lot of tourism that comes from it and just a lot of people get behind it all over the world. And I think more so than here. With regards to people here, I just think it's people who can't let go of the past. Because there, there's literally no need for us to have a monarchy. It, it doesn't do anything other than, other than, like I said, tourism. It does nothing for us. And the taxpayer pays for a lot of the whole monarchy the whole, like any events that they put on, any birthday parties, anything like that. The taxpayer paid a lot for the royal wedding. And that's one problem that a lot of people have. Their tax money is just going to some family that's never been appointed, 
just to do what they want, basically. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. In summary, I couldn't really care less. They're not gonna go away. There's nothing I can do about it. And thanks for the question. See you in a bit. I'm in the shade.